You feel no pain. You are not tired. Everybody feels the heat. Everybody does. Everybody's tired. Everybody's sore. Right? We talked about this yesterday, guys. You can't let it affect you. You're allowing the negativity in your brain to take over. Don't do that. You can do it. We've already proven that you're tougher than that. Okay, get a break. We'll get a drink of water. We've got PAT. Uh, my name is Wes Choate. I'm the head coach at Esperanza High School. This is going into my third season here. Our first season in 2019, we were able to win a CAF championship, uh, the first one in a few years. This year, we got a good mix of guys, uh, young and old. Uh, we got a full summer in us, so we're pretty excited about where it's going. Uh, Esperanza's um, football football team, just everyone is always super positive. We're, we act like a family. Seeing each other every day makes that brotherhood even better, builds it stronger. We get stronger, we have more chemistry. That's why I like coming here. That's why I like staying on this football team. Uh, those conditioning drills that we go through, up, downs, whatever, uh, running, I think to myself, do I want to play? And then I'm like, yeah, I do, because I want to do it for not just me, but my brothers around me and my coaches. Great throw, great throw, great throw. That a baby dog? Um, well, here at Esperanza, we just have a, a brotherhood relationship, and we, we do things even outside of football, like we'll just go and hang out and be together and just grow a bond. And I think our bond is stronger than all the other schools, and our coaches are excellent too. We have a young coaching staff overall as far as experience, but of the seven of us, only one of us have not played college football. Every year that I've been here, we've gotten guys getting scholarships to get out of here, and that's, that's awesome. We want to be able to do that because we have that experience that can help. But in the small things, when you come to our practice and you see those life lessons, that's my favorite part. As I'm approaching that defender, I gotta get my hands ready. I gotta get my hands ready, and now I'm nice and quick. Okay, I can't be running my routes with my hands down. That's the easy way for your defender to get in your chest. What does it feel like pushing one of those things? It's pretty easy. <laughs> it's pretty fun. All right, so player number one we're gonna talk about is our offensive tackle, Lucas Ambule. Uh, he's the the biggest, baddest guy on the team. Where he goes, we go. Uh, he was the only senior that was a starter still from our CAF championship season. Um, he's getting looks from multiple schools, uh, and he was just ranked as one of the top 150 players in uh, Orange County. I just try to mentor the younger guys, and uh, I knew I was in their position as a sophomore, and so I wanted to, I want to uh, help them and bring them up and show them what it means to be an Aztec. Uh, the second player is Ethan Avalos. He's our returning running back. Uh, he's a blue collar kid. Uh, nothing too extravagant as far as speed, strength, or anything like that, but he's just all heart. What stands out is just uh, me running the ball and just hitting people. That's like my favorite thing to do. You do it for fun. Yeah, I like to see like the fear in people's eyes. It's pretty gnarly. <laughs> Donovan Gutierrez, he's a starting receiver and cornerback. Uh, one of the more athletic kids we have on the team, uh, his senior year now, he's really trying to have a breakout season. I always give 110%. I always just give all my effort, and I, I try to bring up the younger guys and lead by example. Next player is uh, Jesse Morgan. Uh, if, if Lucas Ambule is the engine that runs the team, uh, Jesse Morgan is the, is the fire. Because that kid, every single day that we're out there, is the fire that lights everybody up to keep on going. Uh, he only knows one speed. I kind of feel bad for some of the young guys that are running scout team because uh, he tears their head off too. And we're just doing a, a thud drill. Uh, so it, it's great to have him. I say I bring a lot of power. I like to hit people a lot. That's, that's my main thing. Um, I would say I bring some leadership to the team. I like to bring people up. I don't like putting people down get the energy up. Uh, next kid is another returning linebacker and running back, Jesse Dunsing. Uh, he's the youngest of three guys that have gone through the program, and that's part of the tradition that we love here, is that family stay through here. Uh, great guy, he's gonna he really have a blow up uh, junior season. Uh, we're really excited to see where he's gonna go. Uh, I bring a lot of intensity and uh, speed and agility. I'm really fast with the ball and I uh, make big hits. 
And then last is James Mock. Uh, James Mock is a sophomore, was our JV quarterback, and he's now turned into our tight end and a great rush end, uh, but just an even keel guy. So we have guys that have all kinds of different attitudes that, that the younger guys can kind of look to, uh, be it fiery or be it calm. And James, that guy that's that calm influence, good or bad, he just keeps on uh, plugging away. I have a lot of, uh, a lot of energy. I love to put uh, all my effort into uh, whatever I'm doing. I, I try to bring up the team as much as I can, be positive. Um, I like to be as aggressive as possible and just uh, be successful in playing football. If not all 11 of us are pulling as hard as we can, we're going to screw up. And we saw that last year. And make sure tomorrow, guys, let's, put that, let's flip that switch, right? Tomorrow, a lot of you guys are going to find out the difference between football and every other sport. Last year was unacceptable. The year before that is the standard. All right, seniors, get us up, get us out. Get better on three. One, two, three, get better!